Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success Financials First Premium Edition. In this video, we're going to demonstrate creating statistical accounts and how to use them to perform dynamic expense allocations. I'll start with the controller dashboard. The statistical accounts let me track non-monetary data and then use that information on reports and income statements. I can then examine its relationship with financial activity. There are four basic steps to demonstrate this process. First, we create statistical accounts and statistical journal entry values. Second, we create the reusable dynamic allocation schedule. Thirdly, we use the schedule to calculate the allocation amounts. And lastly, we automatically create the journal entries. In step one, the 9952 statistical account will be used to represent how many people exist within each department in order to use those relative numbers to fairly distribute expenses to each department. Statistical accounts are not posting to the general ledger and do not show up by default in standard financial reports unless inserted on purpose. We created a statistical journal entry to populate the number of people for each department. Here we just set the starting number of employees by department based on a list from HR or payroll. When we create a new statistical journal entry, we can update the headcount values by department either incrementally or we can overwrite the values each time. Now that we have a starting value for each department, we can create a dynamic allocation schedule to automatically divide the expense by the number of employees for each department. As we look across the top of this reusable schedule, we see that it's designed as a dynamic allocation. We also see that the controller will be reminded to run this at the end of each period indefinitely. In the dynamic allocation section, the weighted source identifies our headcount statistical account. In the Source sub-tab, we've identified that any expenses hitting the 6610 account that are labeled Administrative Department, US-1 Location, and Class A will be included in the calculations. In the Destination sub-tab, we see the current sample weights and balances of the number of employees per department. And finally, in the History sub-tab, we see the journal entry that was created automatically from the Source account and spread across the Destination accounts by department. In the automatically created journal entry, we see the allocation source of $10,000 spread across the departments based on our headcount weighting. Without statistical accounts, you're only able to manually create the percentages using fixed allocation schedules. This is just one example of the usefulness of statistical accounts and automatic schedule creation within NetSuite. That concludes our very brief look at a simple financials-first dynamic allocation process. 